Lakers I've ever got in my life. I love everyone. What's going on, you crazy bastards? You're back here with Rob Kimmel from SonsOfWrestling.com for a WWE Raw review. And we start off the show, Seth Rollins to the ring, and he refuses to be disrespected, and that he is the future of, you know, everything. He's putting himself over hardcore. He just believes this, the arrogant little prick. And, uh, well, Mercury and Noble come down to try to get him out of the ring. And he says he knows he's, he's a marked man. He's painted this target on his own back. And he loves it. And then Cena comes charging the ring. Rollins escapes into the crowd. And as he's standing down in the crowd, he's laughing. Thinks it's hilarious. As Dean Ambrose stands next to him, he's looking on too like... He's shocked what's going on, and, and Seth Rollins ta taps with his laugh and thinking it's a guy in the crowd when it's really Dean Ambrose, and Dean Ambrose goes after him, and he's stuck in between Cena and, and Ambrose here up by the barrier. Cena yanks him over the barrier. Dean Ambrose does not give a fuck who. He charges and dives on top of both, and then this has Mercury and Noble come over, preventing them to get to Rollins, and Rollins escapes once again. So that's how that worked out, but it was a really cool intro, the beginning of the show that was fun. Then we have Triple H and Stephanie McMahon come out, and they said, you know what, you two, Tonight, I know you want a piece of Rollins, and you're going to get it. Both the Ambrose Cena versus Rollins. And Kane. And Randy Orton in a three-on-two three on handicap match, that is. So, decent, decent setup for a main event. Yes, I know a lot of people are saying, same old shit. But, hey, Dean Ambrose, Seth Rollins, in the last two years, this is not the same old shit. And that's what we want to see. Then we move on to Dolph Ziggler and the Usos versus Cesaro and Golden Stardust. And guess who did not lose their belt and is not losing their push? Dolph Ziggler. He had his IC belt. Yes, he did. Crowd is hot for Dolph Ziggler in Brooklyn. Just insane. And, uh, well, they do everything Cesaro and the Dust Brothers to get to allow Ziggler in the ring as they just take it to the Usos. And finally, we get a hot tag to an Uso that comes in and it leads up to basically Cesaro and Ziggler in the ring. You get that nice back and forth. And this is just great work. I could watch that all the time. Cesaro versus Dolph Ziggler. Awesome, awesome feud. Hopefully they continue it and move on with it. But here in the end, the uh, Stardust catches a triple super kick. Boom! Then an Uso splash for the victory. Wow, check your teeth, bro. Fucking knock that star right off his face and his gloves. And the one on his ass if he had one. Holy shit, that was badass. Then we have the uh, the Rosebuds uh, come down with Kathy Lee and Hoda and the crowd is booing. They're bored with this. This is dumb. These two are talking like they're goddamn 20 year olds and they like to drink and they get these bottles of wine. Well anyway, they get the Hoda to dance and um, then we turn into uh, a bottle smashed over her ass. And then Kathy Lee, uh, with her ass sticking out, obviously she's waiting for it. Another wine bottle smashed over her ass. Now, if any of you guys actually drank a bottle of wine, you know how hard those bottles are. There's no possibility of busting them over a rump. Only a rock or a brick or something very hard is the only way to bust it. So it's kind of silly. Then they uh, they do the rosebud uh, trust fall off the thing. Hey, whatever. Fucking silly. But hey, Adam Rose is working with it, you know. Then we have Bo Dallas versus Mark Henry once again. Bo Dallas is up two to zilts. And uh, guess what happens here? Mark Henry loses focus again, and he gets his ass counted out. And when he goes for the world's strongest slam on the announce table, Bodell slips out the back and into the ring for the win again. Mark Henry's disappointed with himself, and he should be. <laughs> God damn, he must believe after this. Maybe he can get his focus back. Maybe Bo Dallas could help him out with that. Who knows? I like the Bo Dallas character. That's just the way I feel it. Then we have, yes, indeed, 
Ambrose comes to the ring. He just he does he can't fucking deal with this. He's got something going on in his mind, and uh, he's got to get it off his chest. He's about sick of John Cena being up in his space, and um, well. <laughs> He, he's just done with this shit, and he wants to, a face-to-face -face right now to settle this shit. Anyway, Cena comes down to the ring in shock, surprise, whatever it will be, and, um, well, this turns into a little back and forth with the words. John Cena ends up saying, you know what, it's been a very long time since I've seen someone like you, a person with guts to go out and say and do whatever they want. But with that comes consequences. So Dean Ambrose told him that he doesn't have he doesn't mind dropping his ass right now. And then John Cena after that says the same exact thing. And uh, well, this turns into uh, Ambrose sort of got a little bored. He says, you know what? I think I'm a little hungry. I think I'm gonna go take the Q train down to Coney Island, get a hot dog, check out the fucking Wonder Wheel. Good luck with the authority tonight. Drops the mic. He's out of there. And uh, then they show him uh, later on in the uh, the train station deal down in the, uh, whatever the fuck they are down there in New York and Brooklyn. Anyway, so he boogies on out of there. Clearly it was taped earlier. His hair's all frizzy, not wet. And, um, hey, it was good shit. Really, really good shit. And um, I just want to see Dean Ambrose versus John Cena. And Dean Ambrose goes over and does not get the death of fucking Cena like so many others have, so let's see where it goes. Hopefully, finally, they listen. Somewhere I heard and read that the Triple H does listen, and he tries to pay attention to the IWC, YWC, whatever you wanna go with. He tries to keep his ear to the ground, folks, so that's a good thing, so we'll see what happens there. Then we have um, Summer Rae versus Brie Bella in a handicap match with one arm tied behind her back, and well, guess what? Quick victory for Brie Bella here. As uh, after the victory, yes, chance galore. Nikki's pissed at top of the ramp. So clearly, we're going to be going to Nikki versus Brie somewhere down the road. Then we have Kane backstage and Miz and Miz now come to apologize with a basket of fruit. This is A list fruit. Getting fucking mizzed out, killing it, dude. Just the way he's mouthing everything that Miz does. He's perfect. At, the dude has so much talent. So fucking good. Really dig that. And then, uh, well, Kane doesn't want none of that shit. And uh, finally, he says, What you did wrong is you come into my office. Now you got a match with Sheamus tonight. And you'll probably be eating a broke kick instead of some fucking fresh organic fruit so <laughs> they're a little ticked they leave Ms. Dow comes back snatches the basket of fruit and they're out of there then we have Seamus versus Ty or Jesus Christ yes Jack Swagger versus Tyson Kidd with Natty still ringside caring after all the shit that we've been going through, it's the strangest storyline. But in the end, here clearly you know where it's going. Jack Swagger locks in that Patriot lock, and uh, we get a tap in a boo-hoo whining motherfucker. Tyson Kidd in the corner doesn't want anything from Natty. So, and uh, there was a commercial earlier to show some of the total divas. They, maybe he's looking for a divorce. So, guess that's where that's going. Who knows? Then we have Roman Reigns live via satellite, and uh, he just says that uh, hopefully he'll be back sooner than later. Everyone was expecting to see him live in Brooklyn, not via satellite, so it was a little disappointing. And then to lead into the disappointment, we have the Los Matadores El Torito himself versus Slater Gator's mini Gator, and crowd's pissed off fucking big time this is stupid chance and twitter they erupted fucking same thing with the crowd just erupted stupid shit and you can't even blame vince russo for this iwc <laughs> so then uh well anyway el torito picks up a win with the moon so then we have rusev and lana come down to the ring and there is no match with big show because he is suspended for the flag incident and finally the rock 
has come back to Brooklyn. Awesome fucking moment. Let me tell you what. I seen someone do a video earlier that said The Rock was coming to WWE and I thought he was full of shit. I'm going to say this right now. Wow. I got the idea that he might have been because he was in the area, but one Sean's View Entertainment hit that. Good for you, bro. Anyway, fucking The Rock came back to face Luce Rusev. One out, like, not a match, but he laid it down and he always says, why you got your fucking pants up to your goddamn nipples showing your mask cow, moose knuckle. <laughs> that was fucking great. Excellent, and it tells uh, Lana, she's smoking, she's gorgeous in person, but she's trotting around here like she's got a smeared off bottle shoved up her Putin. Ha <laughs> that was fucking great. Awesome shit. The Rock, I don't give a fuck if you like him or not. His 10 minutes in that goddamn ring, talking on the mic, just erupted the WWE Universe. Because it's been pretty fucking lame, in my opinion, and I know all of yours. So, wow. <laughs> I'm a stone cold guy, but you bring the rock back in there, that son of a bitch turns the fucking fire on, and it's on. This is great. And to throw him in the mix with Rusev, not even a title picture, so the IWC can't even be bitching. Oh, they're going to throw the belt back on the rock. Maybe down the road, but this was awesome. <laughs> All sorts of excited. I was getting a little tired there, especially after that fucking gator shit. Anyway awesome shit and I'm gonna do two fucking videos tonight for all of you so peace to this one and I'll cut it and bring it back anyway that that was good shit go to sonsofwrestling.com and get yourself a cool ass t-shirt anyway